Welcome to the Can Do Maths Support Video 1. This one focuses on how do I help my child with workouts A, B and C. We, we like to call these the do-its. So, so why are they called do-its? Well, here you go. Here, here are the two examples. And as you can see, these questions are designed for your child to show they can work out the answer for a range of questions. They're designed for your child to show you they can still do it. Keep practicing, keep consolidating, hopefully, the maths they've met this year. So, so work out A at the top there. Here we go. We're comparing um, some numbers, two-digit numbers, single-digit numbers. And the idea is the child puts in the right symbol, which one's greater than, which one's less than. Now, now your child can answer these and you can mark them. Or as the child is doing it, you could ask them a, a very powerful question. Convince me. Convince me why you're putting that symbol there. So, so for example, um, we've got 74 and 44. And hopefully the, the sort of conversation will be, well, yes, they've got the same number of ones. They've got four ones. But, oh, that one's got seven tens, but that one's got four tens. So seven tens and four ones is much larger than four tens and four ones. Um, over here, oh, wow, oh, ah, five tens and five tens. Oh, so now I need to look at the ones digits. Oh, that's got two ones, that one's got three ones. So 52 is less than 53. So, so yes, mark them. But just asking your child to talk more about what's their thinking, what's going on in their heads. Here's another set here where the child has to put them in order, for example, three numbers. And then again, you might say, oh, that's interesting. Why have we put 90 there? Oh, because 90 has got zero hundreds. So that's going to be my smallest number. And 301, that, that's got three one hundreds. So that's going to be my largest number. So we can have that conversation around it. You may also ask your child, um, there you go, Ooh, which ones of those were easy? Why was that one easy? Which ones did you find difficult? Ooh, why did you find them difficult? So you can just, uh, they're the prompt for discussion then about what, the child, what your child is thinking. So there you go, some top tips for these workouts A, B and C we like to call the do-its.